Stacy. What? We're live. Hi. Hi. Stop. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. All right, Stace. Tell us you're watching. If you're watching, tell us about your day. Tell us about your Tuesday. How What's you happening Tuesday? on your day? where you are. We need something uplifting and delightful. So tell us a little story about your day, everybody. Um, because that would make our day better to hear about you. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Um, okay, so I just posted in the comments section a link that will take you directly to our new Creators Club. We're super excited about the Creators Club. And we're just going to talk about Oprah for a brief minute because we need to. But then we've got something important to talk about that Stacy has been texting me nonstop about. Oh yeah, okay, I'm glad I brought my phone because I have evidence. So the link that we posted is to the Creators Club and it's a way where you can join us and give $10 a month or whatever amount you choose and uh, it automatically comes out of your account that you choose and it happens once a month and it's just $10 a month. Stacy, what costs $10 a month? Like you can barely even get like lunch for yourself for $10 a month. That is very true. So you literally could, for $10 a month, you could join our Creators Club and you could make the difference of a costume for kids in our kids' productions. And we just had a production meeting and there's a lot of costumes in this show. Yes. Whew. So anyway, if you can join the Creators Club, please, please, please click the link in the comments. Comments? Comments? In the comments and join the Creators Club for just $10 a month or more. You can make a huge difference in the art. So click the link, join the club. Like, my Netflix subscription costs more than 10 bucks. Like, Do you remember back when, that's interesting. Do you remember back, you don't remember. But do you, <laughs> anybody who's old like me, do you remember back when it was like, ooh, we're just going to get Netflix and that's all the TV we'll need. And oh, so yeah. people got rid of their subscription, like their cable and everything. Yeah. And now we've got like Netflix and Hulu and Disney. And, yeah. and you have them all. So you're literally paying as much as you were for cable for anyway. Cable, yeah. I'm one of those schmoes. You are, aren't you? Hi, Natalie. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Hi, whoever you are about to do voice lessons. I'm going to assume that's Questly. Questly? I'm not sure. Hi, anyway, click that link. Join the Creators Club. It's really worth it, and it would change the lives of children. So it's worth it, right, Stace? Yes, and the kids here are the best. The best. The not, best. not just some best. The, the best. best. Capital T-H-E. Okay, guys. If you haven't seen WandaVision, now it's time to walk away because spoilers. Oh my gosh. Also, what are you doing with your life if you haven't? Spoilers. Spoilers. Major spoilers. I just want to be really clear there's about to be spoilers for WandaVision. Our viewership is dropping drastically. Oh no, no one's watched it. That makes me sad. Okay, but let's be honest, Stacey. The first episode is boring. No, it's not. It's terrible. It's not. In fact, I tried to watch. You told me like five months ago to watch it or whenever it came out. I don't know. And you were like, you'll love it. You should watch it. That's my Stacy voice. You'll love it. You should watch it. And I was like, okay, I got nothing else to do. I'll give it a try. I got like five minutes into the first episode and I was like, Oh no! It was terrible. I, no, the first no, episode is bad, Stacy. It's, it's not, bad. I I just I have this to say to people who say it's bad or boring. You just don't get it. Well, I might not get it, and Thank that you, is Mickey. Thank that's you. probably a problem with my life. Okay. However, it was boring, no Stacy. Tell me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. I have many problems in my life, too. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Tell us why you like the first episode, everybody. Stacey, you'll go first. I love the first episode because, much like Scarlet Witch, sorry, Wanda Maximoff herself, I also grew up watching all those old sitcoms, and it was, like, just nice, and it was just nice and relaxing to watch something that doesn't have a plot, but you just get to watch for fun. And I also like those TV shows that don't, like, force feed you all of the things that you need to know immediately they let you figure it out for yourself so that you keep watching that's why i liked the first episode brandon did you write that all out like, no i didn't i'm just very this? passionate about this show holy cow stacy no, this is this is our high school musical check-in not a script Jeez. okay so i watched the first episode it was not good guys it wasn't good it's amazing it's terrible it was chef's kiss it was awful <laughs> 
Um, so, but then I was like, no, Stacy says this is good. Everybody's talking about it. I'm going to start it again. So on Saturday night, mm -hmm. I started it again. And I was like, just get through the first episode. You can do it. And I did that by eating lots of tortilla chips. Love that. Yeah. Wait, did I, like just tortilla chips? Ahem. <clears throat> no, Dan, no, just, just so I, with it. So, I, so I'm like, I surrounded myself in good food. Like I, had, I think I had gummy worms, some tortilla chips. Gummy worms are good? Sorry, we're talking about you. Did okay. you just question the goodness of gummy worms? I don't like anything gummy. They're, it's nasty. Like gummy bears, gummy worms. I don't like them. Anyway, continue with what you're saying. He's we I, we are literally no longer friends. That's the end. Oh, we were. We Stacy, were... you need to know something about me. Not only do I love I everything gummy, all of my vitamins are gummy, and they're here because I'm always here. Everything I. It's all about gummy. How can you not like gummies? Granted, our friendship ended when I discovered you didn't like WandaVision as much as I thought you did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Stacey you. Stacy doesn't like gummies, guys. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I surround myself in good food, right? Right. So I can make it through Act One, Episode One of Gosh. WandaVision. <laughs> and I made it through Episode One. And then I started Episode Two. And I, and I, it was, it was okay. Episode Two was a little, a little bit better than Episode One. Okay. But, I texted Stacy at one point. I was actually making a list of things that I was going to talk about how much I didn't like the show. Like, I was literally like, that's dumb. Why are oh we doing this? Oh, my gosh. That's stupid. And so I texted Stacy and I said, prepare yourself. We're going to talk about this. Oh, my gosh. And then one of the things I didn't like about episode two is she wore pants and everybody else was in a skirt. Okay, but listen, have you seen, have you, have you seen the old Dick Van Dyke show? No, I'm not that old, Stacy. I'm not that old either. Hang on. Okay, but the point is, never mind, never mind. Make your point. The point is. This is your point. The point is, so so if you watch the old Dick Van Dyke show with Dick Van Dyke and Mary Tyler Moore, Mary Tyler Moore is like always wearing pants in that show. And it was like a really big thing back then for someone in the 60s to be wearing pants on television. And so the idea of WandaVision is that they spoof and throw little things in there to the old decades of TV. So the fact that she was wearing pants, uh, pants, because women in pants. And then halfway through, it changed to color. Is that when this happened? Yes. And and not Vision, halfway through, towards the end. Vision turned purple instead of red. I even texted you about this, and I was like, "Why is he purple?" Wait, wh when was Vision purple? Uh -huh. Read our text. I literally texted and said, why is he a different color now? Anyway, I make it through episode two. Lots of gummy worms were harmed in the, <laughs> in the making of, of episode two. And then it gets... It gets whack. It gets whack so fast and I love it. Oh, it's so good. Okay. I'm obsessed. But about episode three, I had a coronary. Because <laughs> of all the gummy worms. Because of all the gummy worms. And I literally could not like stop. I I may have obsessively texted Stacy and was a bit confused. I, it turns out I think I accidentally deleted the text chain. But you deleted it? I know. I'm really sad that I did. But don't worry, I saved it. Oh, good. I'm prepared. For it this. was it was so funny. I don't even. You you gotta talk about it for a second. It was, so episode three is where they go to the. 70s, the 70s, and she's pregnant. And she's suddenly she's, pregnant with yeah. with children. With her her envision. Because the bee guy showed up at the end of episode two. Yes. And then she was like, "Not today, bee guy. Not today. Not today, bee." And <laughs> and and then there was like, <laughs> and then right, she rewound. And then it was episode three, and suddenly it was like. What? How did the... And then her belly's like this big, and then suddenly the doctor's there, and then suddenly she's like eight months pregnant, and then suddenly she's like, babes are coming out! What? <laughs> babes, out! But do you understand why that can happen to her? No, I don't, because a woman has to be pregnant for nine months. No, but 
Wanda has Wanda has special powers. You understand that I've never. Have I you? shouldn't say never. Oh but. my gosh! You did you see any of the previous movies before watching WandaVision? Nope. Brandon. <laughs> I don't watch Marvel movies. I'm sorry. Okay, we need to fix that. We're having a Marvel marathon. You're invited. What I if I fell asleep? Come, would you Would you be mad if I'll I fell asleep? I'll keep you up. What if I brought gummy worms? I'd eat them all. Uh, okay, so really during episode two, I was like, but like what? And she's like, just keep watching. Don't give up. I promise it's worth it. So many people stopped watching because they didn't get it. Just stick with it. Good things come to those who wait. And I said, are you paid by Disney to say that? And she said, I wish. And I said, what the? It's a completely different opening. That's the point, she says. They're spoofing decades of TV. And then this is where my mind exploded. And then it went cray-cray. So I'm the green this side. What the heck is going on? So for all... Oh my <laughs> this gosh. is my favorite right here. There was one point where I went, I just like popped in the shower for like not even giving you 10 minutes oh my gosh i texted stacy throughout the whole night like literally could not stop texting her about what was happening on this show well, it just kept going you, you started at like 5.30. I, before that. I, and, yeah. And ended at like 9 or 9 Yeah, or yeah, yeah. I watched the whole, I watched all of them. There's apparently one more episode to go. Yeah, Friday. Oh, man. <laughs> I ain't ready. But there was a point where I hopped in the shower for like 10 minutes and came out and had like 20 messages from Brandon. There was, was also like, a point oh. where I stopped texting you because my fingers were <laughs> unable to function because I was completely blown away by what was happening. Right. And then I texted you and were like, oh, I thought I'd lost you. And I was like, no, that was just my cerebral exploding. Just you, had to take a minute. That, <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so. Daddy, yes. It's definitely got some things that are good, right? It's amazing. I love all of it, honestly. All of it? All. Of, well, okay, there are a few things that I. What don't you like? Um. This is, uh, most of them are really nitpicky, like things that don't make sense. Like, so again, spoiler alert, this last episode where she goes back in time to when she's a young girl in Sokovia with her parents and she's in like a war torn country, right? And her dad just pulls out this like nice box set of the old Dig Van Dyke show. And I'm like, no, you would definitely have like a pirated version. Like in your My favorite part like, of that scene was that? they had like takeout and it was all yeah, normal. And, was like, and outside the window on some war zone. And I was like, like, please don't leave your house in this situation. Like, no, in fact, every time in that episode where Agatha all along, Agatha uh -huh. the all alonger, uh -huh. was like getting to the point of what we needed to learn, I was like, here comes something scary. Here comes something <laughs> scary. And every time it was like an explosion or something, yeah. I was like, I hate you, Agatha. She, you, you guys, spoiler. She killed the dog. Yeah, she did. Did you see that coming, though? Like, did you see her, like, coming? Because a lot of people, like... Hold on, I'm trying to make the bags under my eyes look better. Oh. That's not... This is not the worst. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Quote of the year. I cannot move from this location any longer. Okay. Hi, yeah, Stacy. How's it going? Good. You look great. Thank you. No bags or anything. I know, right? <laughs> I've had no work done either. Oh, gosh. No, I did not see Agatha coming. In fact, when he meets her at the edge of the road, uh -huh. and I was like, oh, she's part of the glitch, right? Like, right. we're going to... Okay, but can we talk about Kat Dennehy? Is that her name? Her last Kat name? Dennings? Dennings, thanks. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I love her. She's adorable. She's amazing. She's and so she funny. was she wasn't in enough of the last few episodes. No. The last place we saw her is stuck at that stoplight. Waiting yes. for all the things to like happen in front of her. Truck, yeah. And then Vision like explodes out of the car and goes away. But Why I have, didn't he just do that in the first place? I don't know. Like, but I I still have some logistical questions because how did she, Wanda, get Vision in her head to go crawl through the thingy, the hex, and he's out there saying, help me, when he's not real. No, so he's... He's not real. 
I know he's not real, which is why he starts to fall apart when he tries to leave. Because she created this world and also created this vision. So he's not the real vision. So that's why when he tries to leave, he can't because he's part of this world that she created. <laughs> Did you not catch that? No! I was probably high on gummy worms. Probably. I mean, I was probably in some, In a like, sugar coma. I was in a coma or something. I, but, um... No, of course I didn't catch that. How would I catch that? Well, and that's why... So he realizes that something's wrong, and that's why So, but like, why did she create a town? Okay, she, she hexes this town, right. right? Whatever she does. Why are the people on the outskirts just frozen there? Why did she even make that a thing? Why did they just, like, not be there? She can control... She can control like other people more or less so she figures no one's on the outskirts of town we don't need them so just freeze them. so the poor suburbs like yeah. suburbs yeah. are the people give the worst reactions to the suburbs that's terrible it's true the suburb the, su the suburbs get a bad rock okay so then she pops out children yes the children become teenagers within 10 seconds. Yes, because, this, again, this is her world. She can do whatever she wants. So the kids aren't real. No, the kids are real. No, the, no, she created them. But the... Uh, no, I think they're real. How can they be real if she created them and birthed them in a fake way? I don't know that it was fake. What do, you, what do you guys think? Do you think your kids are real? If anybody's watched. Hi, Quesley, come in! Oh, Quesley. Come in, Quesley! Get in here. Quesley, have you seen WandaVision? Why am I speaking so hard? Of course she hasn't seen WandaVision. Have you met Quesley? Wow. Well, neither have you. Guys, Quesley's here. She's Hi, She is not eating. And apparently will not speak. But she has very ferrocity hair today. I love the bangs. Me too. Like, you're really living Sweet it today. Bangs. You're welcome. Her mask hello, is also popping. Quesley says hello. Have you seen WandaVision on Disney Plus? No. It'll change your mind. Let life. me tell you. Let me tell you something, Quest. Oh, no. And now I'm out. My favorite character you would love. She is a bad mother mamma jamma. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she's delightful. Yeah. Number two, the first episode is terrible. It's Just not, skip it. It's not terrible. Don't you don't even it. need to watch it. There's nothing in it that's important. You know, everybody always says the first episode of every show is terrible. That's the second true. episode is only good if you have a lot of gummy worms. No, also not true. And then from the third episode on, I hope you've peed because <laughs> you will not. You will not couch. be able to leave. Okay. I mean, or just go to the bathroom during, like, the 13, 15 minute long credits. Got okay, it. Nikki says that she thinks that the kids are a permanent creation from Wanda, so when her world disappears, they will still be there. Otherwise, she had kids with dead vision sperm. Yikes. I guess it's there, I can say it. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's reading it. <laughs> right. so. but, like, I mean, it's a scientific alert. That's true. Okay, is not but a I, I see that point that they're there, but I still, I, she, I don't think they're there. I think if they tried to leave the hex, maybe the same thing would happen. Like, if they tried to leave the hex, they would also maybe, you know, I don't know. That Maybe that will be answered this Friday. Maybe we'll know. Should we live, should we live stream our reactions to this know. Friday? Oh, you mean like as we watch it? Yeah. I don't know if anyone's interested in that. Everyone's interested in <laughs> I that. I don't know. People are interested in lots of weird crap. You would be surprised, but yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we know WandaVision. Some people like it, some people don't. It's it's not my favorite, but it was mind-blowing. I will say that. I think it And is. there were moments that were too hard for me to handle, but I literally was like, this is too hard. It's mm -hmm. out. Like, it was hard. There were moments that were like, and I probably, because I haven't seen any of the Marvel movies, I knew none of these people before this started. Like, I literally was like, I don't know. Right. So. Well, and I think, like, to me, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, it's, like, the most creative thing I've ever seen from Marvel. But it also has really great... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? That's right! I remember! Thank you, Tanner! Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm, yep. Wanda kidnapped her own kids? Aren't they like, doesn't, isn't, are these like spoiler alerts or something? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but you won't remember by the time you get there. Trust 
Me. Okay. There are so many things in the show that you'll, by the time you get to this part, you'll be like, do I remember something? No, I no. I, I mind know. blown, don't know anything about it. I remember I know, something I watched Lost, saying so. that to you. Like, I feel like there was a line from a character or something about how her, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. That makes way more Thank sense. Thank you. Way more sense. Thanks. But I will say my favorite part of the whole series so far is when Wanda drives to the town that she puts the hex on. Mm -hmm. And you see the people, Before. like the delivery, like the mail delivery guy yeah. delivering. And then you see the, the boss's like wife town. sitting there, like yeah. in a disheveled town. Mm -hmm. It's so well thought out. This is what I, this is, <laughs> this is what I think is so interesting about the show is that it's so well thought out. It is. They thought about everything. Every single detail. And, and that's why. And I, I texted Stacy at one point, spoiler alert, and said, why is that helicopter red? And she goes, just hold on. And they literally explain why it turned red and why the color was different than the one that they sent in. Yeah. It was. Okay, so is this a show about witches? You said hexes. <laughs> we'll explain. Things. We'll explain. It's a show about everything that your subconscious does in a different world. That yeah. doesn't make sense. That sounds lovely. But also, the show <laughs> does a really great job on touching on things like how to deal with grief and like that how quote that like, says that um, what grief is grief is if not love persevering? I died. I literally laid down and cried for two hours. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And when she so ho holds her hand over him and says, "I can't feel oh, you." Oh, I died. Oh my gosh, Brendan, stop. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, so there's this cute shop that sells like novelty earrings, and I bought Chantel. Them here's earrings. the thing: I will say that this series does sound pretty complicated. You just but if you just chance. buckle in, you just have to give it a chance. If you just buckle in, you're gonna be okay. You, and I know, Questly, this connects comments for you. Yeah. <laughs> Questly, run! They're talking about Marvel. We love you. Do you want us to talk stay. about the nature instead? <laughs> nature. Or Which Marvel? would you prefer, Marvel or nature? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong what if it was Marvel in cool. the nature? Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass, she says. If it's my mom in nature, I'm gonna have to pass. Like, I think it's the that's the biggest Jesus in nature, I'm gonna have to pass. That's the Nikki says thing. she's gonna watch it all again. Uh, how many episodes are they releasing for this round? Any it's just one. There's only one left, right? Yeah, so there's where we were we just did a bit of They they've <laughs> released eight, eight and so nine, nine is the end. Much. But I've heard rumors of there being a tenth one. I don't know if that's true. That could just be bogus. Probably is bogus. Okay, it's bogus. I think it's bogus. <laughs> Chantel, stick it out. You can. You'll want to know all about this later. Seriously. And, and apparently, it, Tanner says they also tie the series into X Men. What is what is X Men? I love X Men. That's DC. See, okay. If it's between Marvel and DC, I really love DC. X Men is people DC. always like. I feel like they, they just don't take enough time on DC because Marvel became a thing. You're saying words that I really don't know much about. I'm sorry. I just, like, there's nothing wrong with Marvel. I like Marvel, but I'm like, I just really love DC. Sure. I I, I like Washington, DC as well. No, I love DC Washington, DC. Nice. Have you been? I have. I've been twice. It's so great, right? Oh I went to the theater where <laughs> Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, and then I was like, this is so cool, and yet I shouldn't feel like it's cool. Yeah. Like, I had the weird, like, um... Uh, Tiffany says that the but the tenth episode is behind the scenes making up. Oh, thanks, Tiff. I didn't know that that was happening. And if there's ever a question, if it's between Marvel or DC, the answer is Disney. <laughs> so Marvel. <laughs> that was great. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like they're saying that Tanner Jackman knows way more than we do. What is Tanner That's saying? True. Tanner says because they're saying that Quicksilver is Pietro Maximoff. Is that true? I think so, yeah. What are you doing? Am I keeping you from your hot date? No, what? no. <laughs> At this time of day? I don't judge. <laughs> cool. I'll, I'll make a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many people who are like super heard, fans of this thing. I have of heard that that is a thing. Quicksilver and... Pietro. But I don't know enough about the universe of one of Marvel or DC or comics or Brandon, at least I have six back. brothers, so it wasn't and my mom who's like a Trekkie and Trekkie. Yeah. Your mom's a Trekkie? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. She likes okay, so like our front my mom's front room in her house is decorated with like shields and swords and like machetes and like daggers. What? And stuff. That and, is intense. And like dragon sculptures. Does that scare people away when they come to visit? 
I, I think so. It's quite tasteful, really. I have to like <laughs> consciously tell myself I can't decorate my front room with Disney stuff. No, Why do it though. I have a, I have my my guest bathroom is done all in Disney stuff, and there's a little wall that because oh, otherwise it's you? it's a lot. It's not a lot. It's a lot. There's no such thing. But I do have a shower head that is a Mickey Mouse in the guest bathroom. So <laughs> if you shower in the guest bathroom, <laughs> it's literally that. it's literally. Water come out of Mickey's Can face. You send me a link to that? It was at Walmart. My mom got it That's for me because my mom's the best. She goes, Brandon, I think you need this. That's what my mom sounds mom's like. Impression. I know. And she, so she got it for me and actually had my dad put it up when I was there. So really, I didn't have a choice. I just showed up and suddenly there was. Hi, Amanda. Suddenly there was a Mickey Mouse spraying water all over the guest bathroom. That's, That's how adorable. it worked. That's so, um, anyway, uh, so yes. If you want to watch WandaVision, do it. If you don't, we're not going to judge you. But you should. Sorry, you shouldn't judge. You should watch WandaVision. That's what I meant. And lastly, <laughs> don't, don't judge other people. <laughs> Nikki says that her mom is doing a Peter Pan guest room and she's stoked and secretly upset that I never had a themed room as a child. Yes. I have a themed room. It's black and red. That's There's some gray. That's Nikki. Hmm. I've never. It do you is, think that, that my favorite yeah. colors are black and red because of because Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Do you guys think subconsciously I did that? Yes. Yeah, obviously. obviously. <laughs> like everyone else can do you it. You have specks of yellow in there. So do you think Tanner can things. also tell me why that is a thing? Because he knows everything else. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. I never realized that. Do you, or do you think that I like Mickey because I like red and black? No. It could be both. Huh. Both is good. <laughs> Especially if you just said that you didn't want to paint, you didn't want to decorate your front room with a ton of Disney stuff because you think it's too much. So obviously you're not going to do your bedroom the same way. And so instead you just use black and red. There's a picture of you in my bedroom. Yeah, I know. I saw Okay, it. that's yeah. weird. Why? Why is that weird? Oh, I have like a collage wall. <laughs> that is weird. I have, I have a picture of Pussy in my room. I have a collage <laughs> wall and, and Aida is one of the pictures in the collage. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, I have a whole bunch of random frames right. and different sizes, and, and Aida's right. in there, and right. it's always crooked. Wall. It's always crooked, and I've tried and tried and tried to make it straight, and it will not stay straight, and so I just played on it, Questly. It literally <laughs> just is crooked, and I'm like, that's because Questly's in it. It is too great for that. Exactly. I can't look like everybody else. No, Questly's yeah. like, girl, I'm going to I'm gonna lean, and you're going to like it. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, last and most importantly, what are we doing, all of us today? We're joining the Creators, Creators Club. Club. The Creators Club is um, okay. What? It's being all wonky. Oh. The Creators Club is a way for you to give back to OPA monthly. It's just ten dollars a month. Wesley, you can't even get lunch for ten dollars a month, right? So you could just save that for for OPA for ten dollars a month, and you could have a child who has a costume, right? Is that amazing? Exactly. Thanks, Quest. All right, we love you all. Uh, we'll be back next week where Stacy will drool over the final episode of WandaVision, and Questly will again be eating something from one of our many sponsors <laughs> while we while we talk about nonsense. Okay, love you all. See you next week. Bye. Bye.